Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Vostro 14. This is gonna to apply to the 3400 series of computers. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. The screws noted with the red arrows, these screws will actually come out and you can set them off to the side. The screws here with the green arrows, these screws actually stay in the bottom case. You can't actually pull those out. Just keep that in mind when you're going at these screws. After you get talking to, after you address all these screws, we're gonna flip the computer over and now we're facing our palm rest. And we're gonna take a small flat pry tool. We're gonna start here near where those green screws were. And we're gonna start in the corner and pry that seam Right in that seam, pry the palm rest up from the bottom case. If you get stuck somewhere, leave it. Go to the other side, continue in the other direction. Try not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go slow and firm, but careful. And once you pry all that up, we're going to flip the computer back over. And we're going to grab it from this side. Again, these green screws where the screws are still in, that's where we're going to go at it. So we're going to grab it from there, gently try to pry this bottom case off, go up here all along the left side of my screen, and be very careful to take this side up and not the right side yet. If you do, you're going to break something. So take the left side up, and then when you get this side up, just grab the whole bottom case and slide it to the right a little bit. Your VGA port here, your USB port, this bottom case goes around it, as you can see in your computer. So if you just rip this thing off, you may damage these ports, or at the very least, you'll break that little skinny part of the bottom case. But if you slide the bottom case to the right, then you'll be able to take it off. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So I'm just going to flip it around. Now, as a general computer repair side note, everyone, when I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link below in the description. It'll show you many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop for my repairs. Underneath that link in the description, there will be one more link. It'll have a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer just to make it easy for you to find those. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right down here. There's four screws holding the battery down. And then the battery plugs in right here by means of this black cable into the motherboard. So after unplugging the battery here, you can take it out a little bit and then you'll have some wiggle room to grab it here right next to the connector and pull hard to get it out of the battery port. Or if you want to unplug it from the motherboard, you would fold down this black piece of tape over it and then you would use your fingernails or a pry tool on either side of the white plug and you would pull that out or wiggle it out of that port to the motherboard. But as goes for all wires and cables in a computer, try your best to not pull on the wires. You could damage them. Just pull close to the plug on each side. Okay, so now that our battery has been at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Here's your CMOS battery down here on the bottom left-hand side of my screen. Uh, if you are looking for a replacement CMOS battery, I will have the information below in the description, and I will also have a replacement battery in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. The way to get this battery out, as you'll see, it's inside this cradle. There's springs on the top that push that battery down and hold it in place. So what you would do is you would take a small flat pry tool and very gently you would insert it down here and you would push this battery gently back into this area here. So you would press it into that spring so that it can pop up from these two grips right there. Be very careful when doing that. This cradle is kind of fragile, and if you push and pry up too fast, you can snap these two grips on either side down here, or you can snap off this holder up here. 
Either way, if you do that, the CMOS battery won't be able to stay in there again when you put your replacement in. For those of you who are here not to replace this, but to reset BIOS, you would just remove this battery for 15, 20 seconds. That should be more than enough to reset your BIOS systems. Please note, however, that will reset your BIOS system settings, but in most cases that will not reset your BIOS password. I will have more information on that below in the description as well. And as a last thing to shout out, this resetting BIOS, this is a common troubleshooting step if your computer won't turn on. Um, if that's why you're here and if you're trying to figure out why your computer is not turning on, I will have a video tutorial link below in the description. I'll also include it as the end suggested video when this video is done playing. That will show you how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on so you can find the cause. But that's the end of this video, how to get into your Dell Vostro and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.